When I came back to the restaurant over this last eight months for COVID to work with Jason, there were a lot of days that I was in the back washing dishes. And I have to say, I, I swear, I felt David's presence there. Uh, I felt like he was standing over me, looking over me, kind of watching over me. And I, I really feel like he's got, his ghost will forever be a part of this building, in this, this place. Basically, David, David was the dishwasher. And I mean, he was so much more, but he lived, you know, 50 hours a week right here. This was it. This was his domain. You know, people wanted stuff. They had to ask him first because these were his shelves. Getting back here was his sort of gig. So once you entered this door back here, it was like, uh-oh, I'm going into David's world. He was very faithful to Zadie's, he would do anything for Zadie's, but he wanted you to follow his rule book. He would do my uh, dishes right away, he knew that I, it was important for me to produce, so he would have my stuff. As soon as it was dirty, he would get it back to me, and I really appreciated that about him. To learn about someone's life, it is important to delve into the people, places, and things that made them who they are. One of the first places we visited to learn about David's history was where he went to high school. David attended Denver South High School and graduated in the class of 1972. David went here for high school and we thought we'd photograph uh, areas in his life that were important to him. And so we just thought we'd take a couple pictures of the front side of the football field, the interior, just stuff like that. David was active in sports as a player on the football team and team manager for the basketball team. During his years at South High School, it seemed as if he were a pretty socially active student. David also played the drums for the school orchestra and a jazz club. While we can't know exactly who young David was, he was clearly group-oriented. Whether he actually formed bonds with the groups remained to be seen. In addition to important places, people often have things or mementos that they've collected. Sometimes it's hard to even know what the object meant to that person. So we were going through some of David's stuff and I found this cool harmonica and it was really well taken care of, looks beautiful, and all seemed untouched and so I wondered why a guy like David had a thing like this. So we thought it would be pretty cool if we were to photograph some of the items he had throughout his life like uh, artifacts almost. 